Though the weather outside is frightful, inside it's so delightful. And if you know a place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. What is going on, everybody? I'm trying to eat digital fool. Like, beware of the digital yellow snow. That's all I'm saying. What's up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. It's Gadget Dog Daily, a production of Phone Dog TV. Thursday, December 18th, 2008. I am not in the Phone Dog West studios today. I'm in an undisclosed location doing this uh, gorilla style, incognito style, something style. Doing this, you know, the power of mobile technology means that uh, it's on my laptop with my built-in webcam and uh, doing this show on the fly. All I really need is a laptop and my coffee. And I'm all set. Here's to you. Thanks for tuning in. As my good friend Glenn likes to say, Happy Noodle Thursday. What's up, everybody? What's up in the dog pound? What's going on, Luis? What's up, phone boy? What's up, Alex? What's up, big boy? What's up, Hershey man? What is going on? What's up, D-Dog? D-Dog, I haven't been able to find it yet. I, ha I don't know. Are you, do you use the same username in those? What's up, RT Butler? What's up, Master Racer? What's up, fool? Shout out to Hershey Man 92. You got it. What's going on, everybody? Um, there were reports. I heard reports about snow in the Bay Area out here. Uh, the best that I've been able to surmise, there's an SAT word for you, uh, no snow where I am. It got down around 35 degrees last night, but uh, no snow here. I heard some folks in downtown Berkeley the other day. Yesterday, day before, we're talking about snow, but uh, uh, HTC Fuse game? No. Oh, sorry, I thought I meant something else. Um, anyway, but no snow here right now, so uh, I don't know. I got plenty of snow growing up over in the, uh, let's see if we can bring this down. See, there you go, that's a little bit better. Uh, plenty of snow growing up in the northeast where I was, so, uh, you know, I don't, I, I love the snow, but I don't miss it right now. But you didn't come here for a weather report, did you? I mean, I can give you a weather report if you want. Or we could talk about the world of technology and gadgets. It's Gadget Dog Daily. You give us 10 minutes, maybe 15, we tell you what you need to know about the world of gadgets and technology. Starting off today, uh, Adobe Photoshop.com Mobile is in beta. Part of Adobe's open screen project, Adobe, Adobe. <laughs> What do you call a bunch of engineers when they're acting stupid? Adobe! Sorry. Uh, Adobe recently released a beta version of Photoshop.com Mobile, which is a stripped-down version of Photoshop that runs on mobile phones. Now, right now, it doesn't run on many devices. It ha your device has to support Flashlight 3, not a Flashlight like the P-Funk song. Flashlight! Not that, but uh, Flash, Space, Light, Space, Three, Adobe Flashlight 3. Uh, so most devices won't be able to rock it right now, but basically if you have it, um, what it does, it, it basically right now all it does is it uploads photos from your mobile device onto Photoshop.com. Photoshop .com. I feel like a brand new man. Onto Photoshop.com so you can do stuff with them up there. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if this whole uh, movement from desktop and laptops to mobile devices being able to do more and more actual, you know, not just media consumption, but media creation, if it really gets anywhere. I don't know. The, the phones, I've tried some really high-end phones with some high-end uh, video and image editing capabilities. And honestly, you know, I, I think for the most part, you, most people just want to, they want to use their phone to capture a picture or a video and transport it somewhere to an online service, to somebody else via email or, or MMS message, that kind of thing. You know, the image editing and stuff on the device, really, I mean, aside from, like, putting a little sticker on the thing or, you know, adding some, uh, maybe adding some, where are they now? Adding some snowflakes to your image. Uh, most people probably just don't want to do all that much image editing actually on their devices. I don't know. Dog pound? Alex would love Photoshop on his phone. So would Luis. Uh, Tech Man just doesn't have audio, so <laughs> sorry, man. Um, Tech Man would love audio on his computer. He doesn't need uh, he doesn't need Photoshop on his phone. D Dog and Phone Boy not so much. 
Yeah, I don't know. You know, Photoshop. Uh, I like those 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 ads on TV, even though they're a little they're a little bit annoying with Ashton Kutcher when he's writing stuff on his. Ashton, hey, call me. Yeah, those ads. Uh, so a touchscreen phone that you could do some actual like scribbling or note taking on would be kind of neat. But uh, you know, the whole like image editing and stuff. Yeah, on a phone, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Speaking of things that people don't need, uh, I almost just don't want to say anything about this. Other than that, it's a Christmas tree made from old SCSI drives. In other news, Android got itself a cupcake. Woo! Way to go, Android. We knew it was only a matter of time before you uh, turned into a human and started eating way too much refined sugar and fat. Uh, unlike... Oh, I don't know, say Apple, who doesn't really tell you anything about new products and services until they're announced and tries to keep everything a secret. Android, in the words of Mobile Crunch's Greg Kumparek, uh, well, let me just read what Greg wrote because it's lovely. Yesterday, I railed on a blogger for writing bad prose. Today, I'm going to give props to Greg for writing something that made me smile. Oh, Android, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love that you've essentially eliminated the need to hypothesize what might be coming in future firmware updates, as due to your open source nature, it's put out there for all to see. I love that, well, there are other reasons, but none relevant to this post. No offense, Android. Uh, what Greg is referring to oh so eloquently and humorously is that uh, Android's Project Cupcake, which uh, apparently is the code name for the, uh, you know, the next generation of Android services, uh, or a branch of the Android development, I guess. Uh, they published a roadmap for what's coming, what's in progress in Cupcake right now. And some of the big things include native video recording, which is about time, uh, copy and paste in the browser, inline search in the browser so you can find text right on the page like you might be used to doing on your computer with uh, Command F or, I don't know, whatever the key is, Windows users, Alt F, I guess. Um, Support for the Squirrelfish JavaScript engine, which is supposed to supposedly right quick. Stereo Bluetooth support, Bluetooth remote control support. Uh, and then some stuff for more for developers, uh, basic x86 support. So I guess that Android would be able to run on uh, computers as well as uh, you know, mobile phones. And then uh, an input method framework for soft keyboards and other on-screen input methods. So third parties could develop their own on-screen virtual keyboards. Right now, Android does not have a virtual keyboard, or the G1 from Google, the commercially available phone. No on-screen keyboard, only the slide-out keyboard. But if you look at, say, Windows mobile phones, uh, a lot of the Windows mobile phones that are out right now, um, you've got you know different manufacturers using their own virtual keyboards. Samsung has their own virtual keyboard. HTC has their own, et cetera, et cetera. 917 Daniel, you love your G1? Sweet. Who else? Luis, you've got G1. You love it? Uh, Alex, I've heard about Android being loaded on other devices. I haven't done it myself. I used to have a Nokia N810 that Android, I believe, could be run on. I've heard about some other things as well. Um, yeah. Hershey Man, no, I have not played the game. I'm not, I don't think I'm eligible to win because uh, I'm a blogger. <laughs> Anyway, um, so Project Cupcake, you know, and the thing on Android, on the one hand, I read this and I'm like, oh, well, they're finally getting up to features that phones had in 2005. But on the other hand, it's excellent because, you know, everybody knew if you were getting an Android phone, you got the G1, you knew you're, you're buying into the future more than the present. You're getting a device that does a certain number of things right now really well, but has really, you know, it's like you're, you're putting a bet down on the future um, for, you know, all kinds of stuff to come to the phone. And uh, I was thinking about it more yesterday. Some people were suggesting, both here on Gadget Dog, I believe, and then also on Phone Dog TV last night, that uh, maybe we do a, a reader discussion to figure out what phone I should get next. And I was thinking more and more about the, uh, I was thinking about the BlackBerry Bold again. I was actually uh, emailing with somebody who has a Bold unlocked on T-Mobile and says he loves it. And I was thinking about that. And actually, on my way home last night, I stopped by the AT&T store to, uh, to uh, fondle the Bold a little bit more. That pleather on the back. Oh boy. It really, uh, well, pardon me for a second. Mm -hmm. um, but then I also, uh, 
you know, I was checking the bold out, the browser, really nice, but a little bit slow. And then I was thinking about, because there's actually, right near my office, there's no Sprint store, but there's a Verizon store, an AT&T store, and a T-Mobile store, all like within a block of each other. So uh, I was, um, Bob, it's too cheesy here. Nerdy, what are you talking about? Um, so I was, I was thinking about the G1 again, and, you know, if there was a, a slimmer, sleeker Android phone, I might definitely be up for that, because I, I like the idea. Catsman, my iPhone just, it's not working right anymore. Um, the, uh, I've restored the firmware a couple of times, uh, and the bottom of the touchscreen on messaging mode just won't respond. I can't get that last bottom row of characters, so I can't, I can't create a space, I can't create a period, you know, so messaging is kind of shot. The touchscreen works fine on everything else. So that's why I thought it was a software thing, but I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to take it to Apple, I guess, but in order to do that, I think I'm going to have to find somebody who has a regular iPhone on contract and borrow their SIM card. Or else when I take it into Apple, they'll be like, why do you have a T-Mobile SIM card? And then they, they'll say you voided the warranty. And so I'm going to have to figure something out there. Uh, yes. D-Dog, you're welcome. I will go... I will go search. D-Dog, -Dog, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go find it and get me the link. Each forum post has an actual link just to that post. And just get me the link and post it right here in the chat room, and then I'll go to it. All right? In other news, today is December 18th. No, 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 no there's more to it than that. Today is December 18th, and, uh, oh, I crack myself up. Today is December 18th, which is Free Shipping Day. Today is the first annual Free Shipping Day, uh, according to a whole bunch of online merchants who have decided that today is Free Shipping Day. According to FreeShippingDay.com, today, Thursday, December 18th, 2008, is Free Shipping Day. It's a day when participating merchants give free shipping to online shoppers with guaranteed delivery by Christmas Eve. So if you are still in need of a product that can be purchased online to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and show your love for a loved one by way of giving them some piece of commercially available merchandise to show your love for them and in celebration of Jesus Christ. You can get it with free shipping and guaranteed delivery in time if you buy it right now. Go to freeshippingday.com. This is not an ad for them. I'm just passing this along to you. And there's a bunch of stuff on there. 123 underwearcom uh, the Apple Store, Apple Store Canada, Baby Fat, uh, lifestyle pro what is lifestyle products? I don't know what that is. Big Toe Soccer, Bloomingdale's, CB2, Coffee for Less. Mmm, coffee. Coffee for Less. dot com, Crate and Barrel, Dell, EB Games. Uh, too many for me to name here, obviously. But head on over if you're in the need of uh, a gift for somebody, or you just want to buy some crap for yourself and get it shipped for free. FreeShippingDay.com. Uh, is your hookup. And again, uh, today is the day you can get it guaranteed delivery by Christmas Eve if you order right now. Act soon, quantities are limited. That brings me to my bark for today. Uh, and my bark for today is a story about this dude who lives in my neighborhood. I don't know uh, where he lives, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have an address. He's a homeless guy who lives in my neighborhood, and I see him often down by the, uh, the public train station in my neighborhood. And uh, I also see him sometimes kind of wandering around the streets, generally in the vicinity of the train station within a couple of blocks radius. Um, the dude, you know, he, he's not in a good way, but uh, since I moved to this neighborhood, what, like four years ago now, I, I've seen him all the time. So, you know, he's obviously keeping himself alive and everything. I, he looks like he's... I, so far as I know, he's mentally ill. Um, again, as so far as I know, he's homeless. He, uh, sometimes he has a beard, sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes his hair is shaggy, sometimes it looks a little more cut. So I don't know where he goes to take care of himself, if he has a place where he lives, like a homeless encampment, or if he goes to a shelter, or if uh, you know, he has friends who live in houses or apartments in the neighborhood, or if local merchants let him come in and use their facilities or what. But... Um, it's been cold here lately, you know, by, by Bay Area California standards in particular. It's been down in the 40s and even dipped into the 30s at night lately. And uh, I dropped my wife off this morning at the train station 
Uh, she takes the train into work, and I dropped her off today. And we saw him there, and she said, you know, I really hope he's got a blanket in his bag because he carries with him kind of a bundle of his stuff. And so I just wanted to mention this to all of you. Uh, we tend to think about these things at the holidays, but perhaps not so much during the rest of the year. But uh, since it's on my mind, you know, better too much thinking about it now than no thinking about it at all, which is, uh, which is this. Um, if you're able to, give something to those who have less than you. Whether it's a donation, whether it's money, whether it's old clothing you don't need anymore, whether it's food, canned goods for a food drive, whether it's some of your time volunteering, there are a million and one ways you can volunteer. You don't have to spend any money. You can just spend some of your time. If you go to your school or, you know, your, your church or house of worship, whatever faith you might be, or local community center, or not even your house of worship, but just the local one near me, there's a church uh, a couple blocks from me that does a, a Friday night meal every week where they give out meals to any, anybody's welcome who needs a meal. And, uh, you know, I know people can volunteer there. You know, whether it's money or uh, an old, you know, recycle your old send, cell phone, send it, you know, there you can go through any of the carriers through their websites. They have programs, and they can get those phones to people who can actually use them. Whatever it is, if, like me, you're in a fortunate position where you have enough, or honestly, you know, more than enough. I have more than enough junk uh, to keep me, you know, to keep me happy and satisfied and cared for and everything. And I was born into a very lucky situation, and et cetera, et cetera. So if, like me, you've got enough and you can give a little bit, do it. Do it now. Do it in May when people aren't thinking about it anymore. Do it in the summer when it's warm out. But do it now especially because this is the time of year when giving is on people's minds, giving and getting. And this is the time of year in a lot of parts of America where it's getting really cold out. And it's dangerous for people who don't have a home, don't have a warm place to sleep at night. And uh, this is when people need your help. And, you know, whatever you believe in or don't believe in politically or religiously or anything else, I think at our core, you know, whether you're watching this from America or Canada or Belgium or Iraq or Africa or wherever, at our core we're all people. And uh, there, there's a responsibility and a bond that we have to one another. You know, we all want the world to be as happy a place as it can be. And it just, it really trips me out. It, it, it makes sense to me intellectually, I, I guess, but it just, on some core level, it doesn't make sense to me why there are people like me who can earn a living talking about gadgets and hanging out with you guys, but there are other people who don't even have a place to live. So whatever little tiny bit you can do or a great big bit you can do to help out a stranger who has less than you, you know, this holiday season and going forwards, uh, I encourage you to do it. I'm not looking down upon you. I'm not judging you. I'm not saying that I, you know, do it all the time. I'm just saying i got an audience of 50 people here I can speak my mind to. I'm asking you to do that because it will make the world a better place. There you go. And then, you know what, after that, if you want to go out and get drunk on Diet Mountain Dew, have a good time. All right, then. What's going on, everybody? Phone Boy, I have not played I Love Katamari yet uh, on the iPod or iPhone Touch. Or iPhone or iPod Touch. I've played it on PS3. I think it's an awesome game. I love it. RT Butler, give a little bit, give a little bit of your love to me. Uh, Mike from the PR, I do not have there with me. I'm at an undisclosed location right now. Not in the Phone Dog studio, so I don't have it with me. Um, <laughs> Bunton and, and Tim Dean, that's funny. Um, Mob Man, I, have a, uh, I do have something, a gift that I want to get for somebody, and I'm stuck. I'm a little stuck on what to get this person. Uh, One Deep, yeah, any Windows mobile games will run on the Omnia. Um, Hershey Man, yeah, update on the One Pod Bandit. Um, so the One Pod Bandit is done. The Facebook part of it, the technical integration, is supposed to be delivered by the developers this week. Of course, you know, once if you've ever been involved in any kind of a tech project, you know, delivery gates get pushed all the time. And also, like, just because I think it's done doesn't mean that the other people on the project think it's done. So it's, once it's delivered, it's got to be tested, reviewed, all that stuff. Most likely, most likely the OnePod Bandit will launch the week of January the 5th, 2009. If we can get it up before the end of the year, we will, but probably January 5th. So there you go. Kyle M., favorite new phone that Motorola designed for Verizon? Yeah, so another phone leaked today 
uh, over on BGR. Let me see if I can call this up for you. Uh, you guys are nice enough to indulge me when I, you know, start talking about things other than technology. I believe they're important, so I'm glad I do. But uh, anyway, so let me see if I can hook you up here on the uh, the newer Verizon leaks. Where is it? Here it is. Another Verizon leak. Uh, that's the newest one. It's a slider phone. Um, is there a name for this one? Niagara is the code name. Um, it's got the sharp angle or sharp edges and angles that were shown on one of the phones like yesterday, the Flash, which was a, a horizontal slider with a QWERTY board. This one looks kind of more like a riser, you know, an updated riser. Uh, I, that whole etched metal keypad thing I'm a little dubious on. Those tend to, uh, in my experience, they tend to look cooler than they actually work. But there you go, a bunch of new Verizon phones leaked. I don't know anything more about uh, those phones yesterday, if they're going to be full-on smartphones or if they're going to be uh, messaging feature phones. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, Mike from the PR, I don't believe the homeless guy was a crackhead. No. Uh, guilty soul, you can get my iPhone repaired? All right, hook me up. There's actually somebody uh, near my office who also does repair. I don't know if I want to pay for the repair is the thing, because uh, 100 bucks for a new touchscreen digitizer, you know, I, I don't know if I'm really, I might want to keep that 100 and put it towards a different phone. I don't know. Uh, Mom, man, any Christmas parties? Yep, I'm going to one tomorrow night. Looking forward to it. Um, D-Dog, you don't know how to view forums. Okay, uh, we're going to have to talk. Yes, Brett M, T-Mobile announced today they're not going to charge their upgrade fees for new phones anymore. Uh, that means, you know, you'll still have to pay for the phone, but you won't have to pay the upgrade fee. Uh, so that's cool. Can you get on the Internet on the iTouch? Yes, you can. Fuse or Bold? I'd go Bold. Verizon or Sprint? Uh, if I wasn't paying for it, I'd go Verizon. Verizon Touch Pro? Uh, it exists. It's expensive. Jordan 09, the gravity is terrible. Um, the keyboard's fine. The form factor is a little thick, but it's all right. The voice quality is atrocious. Somebody I know has one, and I can hardly hear her when she calls me. She called me on speakerphone the other night. I, I had to hang up. It's just, a, it's horrible. Uh, when will Verizon get the Diamond? I haven't heard anything about the Diamond coming to Verizon, Rob M. Randall 70, I'd go iPhone still over G1. RT Butler, everybody should eliminate the upgrade fee. Daniel, G1 or Storm? Good question. Good question. Uh, the Storm is better with the software upgrade. I still just fundamentally don't like the keyboard. Um, Hershey Man, the Prada 2. I had somebody, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to read this to you. One of my Facebook friends sent me uh, a little report. Somebody over in the UK was kind enough to send me his little report on the, um, on the Prada 2, and I'm going to reach it for you. Shout out to John for sending this to me, by the way. Uh, so here we go. If I could get a SIM that would work over there, I would have loaned you the KF900 Prada 2 for a few weeks. Sorry, mate. Just to give you a good bit of first impressions. The good parts. The keyboard. Yup, it's a cracker, which uh, is, is more of a British term than an American term, meaning uh, it's a winner. The slide action is as sweet as the X1 and less obstruction when you're typing. The screen is nice. Not the beast found on the X1, but adequate color. The touchscreen is brilliant, not quite G1 or iPhone, but no need for a stylus either. Plus, it's got a nice rolling dice sort of thing when you swipe from side to side. Gives you four screens of space. The bat. Can't find that. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, beep out the curse word here. Can't find the <laughs> underscore character. This does not make me happy. The disc supplied from LG is one of those little two and a half inch things. So if you work off a laptop or desktop that does not have a caddy, forget it. And I've been browsing LG for the download. I uh, can't find the download, so that's the, the software that comes with it. I'm not a phone guy. That's your job, so I'm not going to go on about points. Just wanted you to know how it feels. Like I like the fact that it does what it advertises well. PhoneDog.com took a while to load on 3G, but the browser brought up everything, and it plays YouTube videos fine. Also supports WMA, AUG, AAC, MP3, the whole kitchen sink full of multimedia files. Does not have a three and a half inch jack. Not that I give a monkey's boop. I don't do films for music. Not when you can get a 16 gigabyte Sony Walkman with 50 pound headphones for 100 pounds. Uh, camera has a good lens. LED flash is nothing to write home about. Does take pretty good videos from VGA resolution on down. All right, enough. We'll let you know in a week what I think. 
Uh, right now, it's about a 7 out of 10, and that's worth keeping simply because it is one sexy toy. So there you go. Hands-on report on the Prada 2 from my friend John over in the UK. Many thanks, John. Cheerio, mate. Uh, all right. Uh, Tim Dean, it's with my iPhone, there were things I'm frustrated about with it, and then the touch screen has been having a lot of problems. That's the problem. Omni or Dare, I personally would go Dare, but tough call. Um, Tech Man, we're looking into whether or not we're going to continue with Kite. Um, we're looking into that definitely. Big Boy, I think the View is a really good phone, but I would get the Eternity now because it kind of does everything the View does, and then some, and it works a little bit better. Uh, 917 Daniel, happy birthday in six days. Verizon iPhone, I got nothing for you. Uh, Catsman, I have, you, I have tested the iPhone 3G, yes. I haven't owned one, but I did review one. I tested it for a while. RT Butler, Opera Mini 4.2 on the Eternity, nice. How'd you do that? What's up, uh, Phone Dog Noah? Wait, am I talking to myself? Uh, Phone Boy, I will check my Twitter as soon as we're done. Uh, Touch Diamond ATT, Little Jumpman, no, I haven't heard anything about that. One Deep, I would wait. You're going to see, it. if there's nothing on the market right now that's really grabbing your attention, wait. You'll see a bunch of new phones coming out starting uh, just after New Year's. And then, you know, the big phone time, you see phones coming out right around Thanksgiving for the holiday rush. Those are all kind of out now. And then you'll see a bunch more starting in kind of, you know, probably mid-January, you'll see some coming out. Mobile World Congress in February, you'll see a bunch of new phones, not for the U.S. market mostly, but a bunch of new phones announced and released. And then again, another rush in April, CTIA. Um, okay, phone dog Noah, who is not actually me, you're going to have to get banned because you are uh, saying things that aren't nice. Um, oh, R.C. Butler, so that's how you got it. It worked? That's sweet. Nice. Um, there you go. Anything else? Anything else I can do for you guys while we're still here? Let me get the uh, logo back up. We don't need the BGR logo up there. Though the weather outside is frightful, inside it's so delightful. And if you've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Mariah or Whitney, I would go, uh, oh, they're both kind of crazy. I'd probably go Mariah. Uh, Brett M., if you do a lot of messaging, wait for the curve. If you don't, the 5310, I still like it. It works well. It's nice. Phone Boy, I use a program called Cam Twist. It's a freeware program for Mac OS X. It's awesome. Um, TK, no, I'm doing it from a MacBook. Uh, yeah, wait. For, if you're on Verizon, wait till January. There'll be no more phones coming out. 917 Daniel, my birthday's in the summer. The Eternity is bigger than the Dare, yes. Celtics or Lakers, anybody instead of the Celtics. Anyone. So Lakers is the answer. Mike from the PR, new Verizon phones will be coming after the first of the year. Uh, Product 2 or HTC Touch HD, I haven't used them, but based on what I've seen, I go Product 2 because it has an actual keyboard. Uh, G1 or X1, I'd go X1 because it's smaller probably. Uh, what, pro what phones are up for prizes in one part bandit? You'll have to wait and see. There will definitely be at least one iPhone, but there will be a bunch of new stuff. Uh, Little Jumpman's all about the Rockets. I hope T-Mac gets out of the first round this year. I love T-Mac. Uh, Kyle M., if you're a Cavs fan, tell Bron Bron to answer all questions this way. I am a Cleveland Cavalier. I am under contract. I'm not talking about the future until the contract's over. That's what he should be doing. Enough with this trying to play in the market. It doesn't matter. If he, if he keeps playing like he's playing, everybody's going to want him. He doesn't have to talk stuff up and build buzz. I'm a Cleveland Cavalier. Don't ask me about when my contract's over. Ask me about this season because we have a shot at winning the East. That's what I want him to say. Uh, Killjoy, would your mom know how to use the Behold? Yeah, it's pretty easy to use. Randall, new T-Mobile stuff in January. Uh, looks like Shadow 2, possibly the BlackBerry Curve 8900. Uh, Capone or Charles Manson? Capone. Uh, how's my TiVo? Alexander Scott, I finally got the cable card working yesterday. It wasn't working. Finally got it working. And uh, so far, so good. Watched some Netflix over TiVo the other night. Last night, uh, we just we watched some stuff. Um, but mostly, 
We didn't watch that much stuff on TV last night. We uh, There's some stuff that got TV'd that we'll watch tonight probably. So, uh, 917 Daniel, how old am I? I am older than 26, and I am younger than 39. Mikey, is there a BB Thunder? No, the, the Thunder was the code name for the storm, so far as I know. Uh, Guilty Soul, I'll check that out. Yeah, Rob M., I know, with the storm, I know. Uh, ooh, NASA Racer, I'm sorry. Uh, N97 should be out, I would think, first half of next year. 917 Daniel, thank you. Randall, yes, I, jailbra I jailbreaked and unlocked my iPhone. Um, is the attorney worth it? R.T. Butler, you have an attorney, you tell him. I think it's nice. D-Dog, uh, you can send me an – become my Facebook friend and send me a message. All right, my Facebook is just my name, Noah Kravitz. So go on Facebook and hook me up that way. Shout out to Mike from the PR. K-Man, Omni Astormer, Touch Pro. I personally would go – I'd probably go Touch Pro out of those. Out of those. Uh, I was using the Unlocked Omnia the other day for a while, and uh, I just it's not smooth enough. I don't know. Blue Thunder or Airwolf, I don't even know what that means. Brooklyn in the house. What's up? Yeah, Catsman, you can be my Facebook friend. Sure. 917, shameless plug for your radio DJ for your uh, radio program. Yeah, swing for Blackberry will look nice in the bowl, definitely. Uh, have I, I heard I can run the Storm on T-Mobile Radio. Yeah, NASA Racer, I have heard that. I have not uh, tried to unlock it yet. You just get an unlock code from Verizon, and I just haven't done it. Will Adobe Photoshop work in the view? Uh, I don't think so, no. Luis, JC, I spell it. If you go onto the phone dog site, you can see how I spell it. It's right on the phone dog site. Uh, new iPhone version ever? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Kyle M., I would say uh, if you're on Verizon, if there's not a phone that you like a lot right now, wait, because there will be new stuff in January. Um, thanks, Rob Roy. Uh, yes, Kildra, the iPhone is a smartphone. I mean, you can, you know, set your own definition, but yeah. Hershey Man, later. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend. 917 Daniel, I don't know. No updates on Flash for the G1 that I've seen. Mike from the PR, I'd go Voyager because uh, it can do more. Glide's really, if it, form factor on Glide's really nice, though. Street Hawker Knight Rider, Knight Rider for the win. NASA Racer, thoughts on no, jo no jobs? Yeah, it's sad. I'm sad about it. TKT Mobile works pretty well in the Bay Area, definitely. Mom Man, I'll be here tomorrow. Uh, K Man, I've only seen that in pictures. Mikey23, I would go Dare myself. They're both great phones. It just depends what you like better. I'd rather have the thin phone than the, uh, than the full keyboard myself. Storm or Dare, I'd go Dare. I'm not on MySpace, no. My favorite of all seven Moto phones that just debuted, I don't know because I don't know what the feature set is, but uh, I think I like the uh, whatever it's called, the Flash, the metal one with the sliding, uh, sliding touchscreen with the QWERTY underneath because it looks like it's the most you know, full feature. Randall, is phone dog hiring in Charleston? Uh, I think we might be looking, we're always on the, you know, we're always on the lookout for a good blogger. Uh, and then I think we might be looking for a web programmer next year, but I'm not really the guy to ask about that. You can contact us through the, web, the website. Uh, Tim Dean, no. I was born in Detroit, Michigan, and raised mostly on the East Coast. Phone dog or Yahoo? I'd go phone dog. New Helio? Uh, you know, keep hearing about the Ocean 2, but I would imagine it would probably have Virgin branding since Virgin bought the uh, bought Helio. Agent 910, glad you liked the review. Get out of the city, man. Have a great weekend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Big boy, my attorneys had good call quality. RT Butler can answer that too. Uh, Alexander Scott, best music phone besides the iPhone. Um, I'll say it again. The Nokia 5310 for a low-end cheap phone that calls messages and uh, plays music I think is really nice. The Blackberry, the new Blackberries have good media players. Uh, the Sony Ericsson's, I really like the Sony Ericsson media players. It's just you have to use, if you're using stereo Bluetooth, Sony Ericsson makes a good music phone. Otherwise, you have to use an adapter. Yeah, Greg Alexander, I, I got to get that part three up already. Um, Guilty Soul, you can uh, send that to me over Facebook. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Or you can email the website, infodog at phonedog.com. Here, I'll put up the website email. If you want to send me an email, uh, this is the way to do it. Rob M., no phone dog TV next week or the week after because it's Christmas Eve next week and New Year's Eve the week after on a Wednesday. So we're going to wait until the following week, January 5th. That will be a big show because CES that week, Macworld that week, lots of stuff going on that week. So definitely. 
Uh, I don't even know what RVD2 is. Rob Van Dam, pro wrestler? What are you talking about there, Funson? Uh, Tim Dean, we appreciate it, man. Thank you. Big Boy, the Verizon Alto merger, I believe, is, you know, it's all official and everything. It's just they haven't actually done anything about it yet in terms of uh, affecting the consumers. Randall 70, I don't know. I, I don't know. i got to figure that out. Uh, 917 Daniel, I don't have plans to be on MySpace now, but, uh, if, you know, if I had somebody who could hook me up with a good MySpace page and uh, show me, you know, what I need to do to use it, I, I would do it. Yeah. Uh, Rob M., what will you do? You will uh, volunteer to help out the needy in your community. How about that? Um, Rob Roy 77, that's funny. No, man, if you love your storm, I'm happy for you, because that's the whole point. I don't care if you like what I like or not. I just want you to be happy. Uh, Mike from the PR, Verizon T-Phone. What's a T-Phone? Um, Catsman, you'll help me? Okay, cool. Uh, LG Ram Prada US, not that I know of. Uh, some, a bunch of new LG phones coming in January, though, so we'll see. Um, I know, I know. I can figure it out. I'm just lazy. Um, all right, kids. I think that's about it. i got to get on with my day here, do some work, eat some lunch, et cetera, et cetera. So thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Uh, the people who I'm supposed to, you know, you can definitely hook up on Facebook. Send me a friend request. I'll add you. Um, you can email us at infodog at phonedog.com. Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Boxing Day. Happy Winter Solstice. Whatever you celebrate. Peace on Earth. Definitely help out your fellow man, your fellow woman. Somebody's in need. Give them a lending, helping hand. It doesn't cost you anything, and, and it's how the world gets to be a better place. Uh, phone boy, you can email. You guys can also email infodog at phonedog.com. Happy Thursday, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.